got lucky uh, in overtime, and you know, that's why they tell you to never give up on the puck. So, I like it. What did you think your hang time was on that first? <laughs> I haven't looked at it. Some guys were chirping me pretty good, so I thought he was a righty, so I thought I was going to come a little quicker, so maybe I, I sold it a little bit. But, uh, how does it feel to win the West for you guys this year? Yeah, it's great. Uh, you know, we uh, we want to have home ice uh, as much as we can, and you know, we, we're going to do that unless we play New York in the finals. So that's very exciting, and um, you, know, you got to give yourself the best chance to get all the opportunities to play as many home games as you can, and we took care of business, and you now the real fun starts. Jake, the run you've been on, you got to feel pretty good about where your game is going to the playoffs. We talked about that a little bit. Yeah, for sure. I think. Uh, yeah, it's been uh, it's been a tough year, like at some points, and um, learned a lot about myself and the people around me that are there for me, and um, you know, my goalie coach Jeff Reese, other goalie coaches that I have that you know believe in me wholeheartedly, and uh, they help me through those tough times, and um, you know, I think the people close to me believe that I could turn my game around and get it to where it is now, and you know, I'm just proud of. How I finish the season, and I'm thankful for the people that really believe that I could get here when you know they really didn't think I, you know, was going to. So I'm just proud of myself and my team around me, and um, I feel good about my game right now. How important is it to have that confidence in your game as you head to the playoffs? Yeah, it's that's everything. Um, you know, there's a ton of great goalies, great players, uh, you know, in this league, obviously, and. That's what it all comes down to, I feel like, at the end of the day, is the guys that have confidence in themselves when no one else does, and the guys that can bounce back, you know, when it's not their best showing in playoffs or in just one game, um, you know, you could lose 10-0 and it doesn't matter the next night, so it's all about, you know, forgive and forget, and, you know, one game at a time, and I learned a lot last year and the year before, and I feel like I'm, I'm ready for this one. Is a game like this good for you guys getting ready for the playoffs? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we're going to be in that situation a lot. Hopefully, uh, you know, Benner was obviously great and um, you know, we're going to play great goalies along the way in the playoffs. So, maybe low scoring tight games and they gave us a great game and made us earn that uh, the point we needed. The internet was going crazy with that goal and Air Otter was one of the nicknames that was out there. So, how do you feel about that? Love that. Yeah. Um, I'm sure I'll get some stuff from people that think it's pretty funny. So. <laughs> <clears throat> what do you think the ups and downs of last year's playoffs taught you? Yeah, I think like I said, just um, you know the you know, I'm gonna have probably a bad game or two in this playoffs, and uh, just being ready for that. Obviously, you don't want that, but you know um, how long it is, and you know just one game at a time. Like I said, you you have an off night. You know you, that's the great thing about playoffs. You play every other night, and just short memory whether it's going great for us or not. Um, you know. We were down 3-0 and we clawed back and, and made it a series. I think that shows both ways, like whether we're down or we're up, um, we're never out of it. The teams are playing never out of it. And, you know, just a, a confident group with great leadership and um, just looking forward to getting going. You had so much success so quickly in your career in the NHL. And then you talking about the down. Does it make it sweeter now? I mean, that you, you went through the hard times and you know the grind that it took to get back to where you are right yeah, now? Yeah, for sure. I think. Um, only the only myself and the people that are close to me know, you know, what I went through and the stuff I've been through, and um, yeah, I mean, it's not uh, it's not always what it looks like on the outside, and it's not it's not the easiest job in the world either. So obviously, I'm very privileged, and many people would kill to be where I am, but uh, it's not the easiest job in the world. And without people around me, and my friends and family, and you know, the people that love me, uh, 